Penguins, these quirky creatures of the Antarctic, are more than just the stars of animated movies. They are fascinating beings, thriving in an environment as harsh as it is beautiful. Beyond their distinctive tuxedo-like appearance, penguins possess many intriguing attributes that make them even more captivating. In this video, we embark on an exhilarating journey to uncover some lesser-known aspects of these waddling wonders, shedding light on the uniqueness that defines these flightless birds. Penguins have evolved to thrive in some of the harshest environments on Earth, making them the undisputed champions of adaptation. Picture a serene expanse of icy landscapes where snow meets sea. This is the world of penguins, a habitat where frigid temperatures and vast oceans entwine, creating an unparalleled haven for these waddling wonders. Penguins are perhaps most famous for their association with Antarctica. Several species of penguins, including the emperor penguin, Adelie penguin, chinstrap penguin, and Jinta penguin, inhabit Antarctica's coastal areas and ice shelves. These penguins are well adapted to the region's extreme cold and harsh conditions. Penguins are also found on various sub-Antarctic islands located in the Southern Ocean between the Antarctic Circle and 60 degrees latitude. These islands provide important breeding and nesting sites for numerous penguin species, such as the king penguin and macaroni penguin. You can find penguin colonies along the southern coasts of South America, including regions of Chile and Argentina. The Magellanic penguin is one of the most common species in this area. Penguins also inhabit the southwestern coast of Africa, with the African penguin being the most well-known species in this region. These penguins are found in countries such as South Africa and Namibia. Various penguin species, such as the little penguin, also known as the blue penguin or fairy penguin, inhabit the coasts and islands of southern Australia and New Zealand. It's important to note that each penguin species has specific habitat requirements and adaptations suited to their particular environment. While penguins are primarily found in the southern hemisphere, naturally occurring penguins rarely exist in the northern hemisphere. Many penguin species engage in intricate courtship rituals, from melodious serenades to carefully selected pebble offerings. Penguins typically have a specific breeding season, varying among species and geographic locations. In many cases, breeding occurs during the warmer months when food is more abundant. For some species, breeding can occur during the austral summer, October to February. Penguins often gather in large colonies, where they establish nests for breeding. These colonies provide safety in numbers and can help penguins protect themselves from predators. Some species dig burrows in the ground, while others build simple nests from pebbles or rocks. Penguins engage in elaborate courtship rituals to attract mates. These rituals involve displays of synchronized movements, vocalizations, and visual cues. Once a pair forms, they usually engage in monogamous relationships for the duration of the breeding season, although some species may repair each year. After successful courtship, female penguins lay one or two eggs, depending on the species. The eggs are then incubated, typically by both parents taking turns. The incubation period can vary but usually lasts several weeks. During this time, the adults carefully regulate the temperature of the eggs to ensure their survival. Once the eggs hatch, both parents feed and care for the chicks. Penguin chicks are born with down feathers and depend entirely on their parents for food and protection. The adults take turns going to sea to forage for food, returning to regurgitate partially digested fish and krill to feed the chicks. This nutrient-rich slurry provides the chicks with the nourishment they need to grow. As the chicks grow and develop, they go through molting stages, where they shed their down feathers and develop waterproof plumage. Once they have sufficient plumage and can regulate their body temperature, the chicks leave the nesting site and enter the ocean. This stage is known as fledging. It's important to note that the details of penguin reproduction can vary among different species. For example, the emperor penguin has a unique breeding strategy. The male incubates the egg on his feet, balancing it on his brood pouch, while the female goes off to forage. The specifics of penguin reproduction are a subject of ongoing research, and scientists continue to study these incredible birds to learn more about their behaviors and adaptations. 
Pebbles have significant importance in the lives of certain penguin species, particularly during the breeding season. Penguins, such as the Adelie penguin and the Ginta penguin, use pebbles for nest building purposes. During the breeding season, penguins gather pebbles and stones to construct nests. They use these pebbles to create a simple but effective structure that elevates their eggs off the cold ground and provides some protection from the elements. By using pebbles to build a nest, penguins help prevent their eggs from coming into direct contact with the cold ground, reducing the risk of heat loss and improving the chances of successful incubation. The process of collecting and arranging pebbles for nest building can be an important social activity for penguins. Mates may work together to gather materials and construct the nest, which can help strengthen their bond and cooperation within the pair. In some cases, penguins use pebbles as a form of territory marking or visual signal to establish ownership of a nesting site. A well-constructed nest with carefully arranged pebbles may signal to other penguins that the site is occupied. The selection and arrangement of pebbles during nest building can also play a role in courtship rituals and displays. Penguins may engage in synchronized movements or present pebbles to potential mates as part of their courtship behaviors. It's important to note that the use of pebbles for nesting is more prominent in some penguin species than in others. While pebbles are crucial for species like Adelie and Ginta penguins, other penguin species may use different nesting materials or strategies depending on their habitat and environmental conditions. Penguin colonies often exhibit social hierarchies, especially during the breeding season when the population is concentrated in a relatively small area. These hierarchies help establish order within the colony and can influence behaviors such as mate selection, access to resources, and territory control. Many penguin species are monogamous during the breeding season, often forming strong bonds with a single mate. Monogamous pairs work together to incubate eggs, raise chicks, and share parenting responsibilities. Some individuals in a penguin colony may establish dominance over others through aggressive interactions. Dominant individuals can often secure better nesting sites, preferred mates, and better access to food resources. Penguins are known to be territorial during the breeding season. Dominant individuals may establish and defend territories within the colony, providing them with a higher chance of successful breeding and access to prime nesting locations. It's important to note that the extent of hierarchy and dominance can vary among penguin species and even among different colonies of the same species. The dynamics of the hierarchy are influenced by factors such as colony size, available resources, and the behavior of individual penguins. While hierarchy exists within penguin colonies, it's just one aspect of their complex social behaviors. Penguins also engage in cooperative activities, such as huddling for warmth, sharing parental responsibilities, and coordinating foraging efforts. Penguins are colonial birds, meaning they gather in large groups called colonies during the breeding season. These colonies provide safety in numbers, protection from predators, and opportunities for social interactions. Adapting to their icy surroundings, penguins have a layer of insulating blubber and a dense layer of feathers that help them maintain their body temperature in cold water. This insulation is crucial for their survival in frigid environments. They also have web feet that aid in steering and stability while swimming. They use their feet to steer and change direction quickly, allowing them to chase prey or evade predators. Penguins have a streamlined body shape that reduces drag, allowing them to move efficiently through the water. Their bodies are well suited for rapid and agile movements. Penguins have modified flippers that function like wings underwater. These flippers are short, strong, and relatively rigid, enabling them to generate powerful thrust and maneuverability while swimming. Penguins use a combination of their flippers and powerful leg kicks to propel themselves through the water. They move their flippers like how birds flap their wings, generating forward momentum. As penguins dart and weave through the water, they employ various techniques to secure their meals. Some species, like the Adelie penguin, engage in a swift and direct pursuit, using their speed and agility to outmaneuver their prey. Others, such as the emperor penguin, can descend to astonishing depths in their search for fish, utilizing their remarkable buoyancy control to navigate the intricate dance of the deep. 
The art of diving is more than a skill, it's a survival strategy that has been honed over generations. Penguins have evolved specialized adaptations to facilitate underwater exploits, including countercurrent heat exchange in their legs to preserve precious body heat during prolonged dives. As they glide through the depths, their bodies adjust effortlessly to the challenges of pressure and temperature, showcasing the astonishing power of adaptation in the face of adversity. Penguins are excellent divers capable of staying submerged for extended periods while hunting for food. They are adapted to cope with the challenges of diving, such as reducing oxygen consumption, slowing their heart rate, and redirecting blood flow to vital organs. They have air sacs that store extra air from each breath, which helps them maintain buoyancy and conserve energy while diving. This adaptation allows them to regulate their depth and ascend more quickly when necessary. Penguins can reach astounding depths in search of their underwater prey. The Emperor Penguin holds the record for the deepest documented dive, plunging an astonishing 1,755 feet into the frigid depths of the Antarctic Sea. For penguins, the underwater world is a realm of endless possibilities where the hunt for sustenance takes center stage. Beneath the waves, penguins become masterful hunters, relying on their keen eyesight and streamlined bodies to chase down prey. Antarctic cuisine might sound a tad exotic, but it's a feast for penguins. They are skilled hunters, adept at chasing down schools of krill and fish, ensuring their bellies remain well-stocked and their colony's future secure. When a penguin takes a deep breath before diving, it's no ordinary inhalation. Their remarkable lung capacity allows them to extract an extraordinary amount of oxygen and explore the depths without a care. Penguins encounter tremendous water pressure as they descend into the ocean's abyss. However, their bodies are built to handle this challenge, preventing harm and allowing them to delve into the mysteries below. Penguins are primarily carnivorous birds with a diet that consists mainly of fish and krill. However, penguin species-specific diet can vary based on their geographic location and available food sources. Foraging for food is a crucial activity for penguins, providing them the energy to survive, reproduce, and raise their chicks. In addition to fish and krill, some penguins may also consume squid and other small marine organisms, depending on what is available in their foraging areas. The availability of prey can influence penguins' foraging behavior and success. Changes in ocean currents, sea ice extent, and prey distribution can impact their ability to find food. Climate change can affect the distribution and abundance of prey species, impacting penguin populations. Alterations in sea temperature, ice coverage, and ocean currents can disrupt food availability. Penguin marching refers to how penguins move on land, especially when traveling in a group or returning to their colonies. This behavior is often observed when penguins move between their nesting sites and the ocean, where they forage for food. Marching is an essential and efficient way for penguins to navigate various terrains. Penguins often move in groups, known as rafts or waddles, especially when traveling to and from the ocean. This group movement provides several benefits, including safety in numbers, protection from predators, and efficient navigation. Penguins walk upright on two legs, holding their bodies vertically when marching. This posture allows them to use their flippers for balance and support. Penguins have a distinctive side-to-side -side waddling gait when they walk. This waddle helps them maintain balance and stability while moving on land. Penguins can travel significant distances between their nesting colonies and foraging grounds. Some species, like the emperor penguin, are known for their long marches across the ice to reach their breeding sites. Penguins often rely on landmarks and sensory cues to navigate during their marches. Returning to the same nesting sites yearly is essential for their breeding success. While penguins are well adapted to swimming, their movements on land are less efficient. Marching helps them conserve energy and avoid unnecessary exertion while traveling to and from the ocean. Penguins may huddle during their marches in cold environments to stay warm. Huddling provides insulation and helps penguins endure low temperatures and strong winds. This showcases the adaptability of penguins to their unique environments. It's a visually striking sight to see a group of penguins waddling together across the landscape, 
whether it's the icy expanses of Antarctica or the rocky shores of sub-Antarctic islands. Penguins are not bound by the icy shores they call home. They embark on remarkable migration journeys, traversing thousands of miles across open waters, guided by the stars and a remarkable sense of direction. Unbeknownst to many, penguins possess an internal compass, a biological marvel that allows them to detect Earth's magnetic field. This extraordinary sense aids in their navigation across vast stretches of ocean. Most penguin species are not known for long-distance migrations in the way that some bird species undertake annual migrations between breeding and wintering grounds. Penguins typically remain close to their breeding colonies or foraging areas, although they exhibit seasonal movements in response to changing environmental conditions. Many penguin species exhibit seasonal movements, where they may travel relatively short distances between their breeding colonies and nearby foraging areas. These movements are often driven by food availability. Sometimes, penguins may exhibit altitudinal migration, moving between different elevations within their island or coastal habitats. Young penguins, after fledging, may disperse from their natal colonies and travel some distance before establishing their own breeding territories. This dispersal helps prevent inbreeding and allows genetic diversity to be maintained. Some penguin species, like the Magellanic penguin, may travel along the coasts outside the breeding season, looking f for suitable foraging grounds or more favorable environmental conditions. Many penguin species, especially those in more extreme environments like the Antarctic, remain near their breeding colonies throughout the year. They focus on survival during the harsh winter months and raising chicks during the breeding season. As climate change affects the distribution of prey species and alters ocean currents, penguins may need to adjust their foraging ranges. This could lead to changes in their seasonal movements and distribution. It's important to note that the specifics of penguin migration can vary among species and populations. While some penguins exhibit more pronounced seasonal movements, others have more sedentary behaviors. Penguins produce a range of sounds, including calls, squawks, and braying sounds. These vocalizations serve different purposes, such as identifying individual penguins, establishing territory, attracting mates, and coordinating activities within the colony. Penguins also use body movements and postures to convey information to each other. For instance, during courtship rituals, they may engage in synchronized movements, head bobbing, and wing flapping to signal their intentions and attract a mate. Visual cues like coloration, body size, and markings can also play a role in communication. Penguins have distinct markings on their bodies that help them recognize each other within the crowded colony. It's important to note that the specific communication methods and signals can vary among different penguin species. Each species has evolved unique vocalizations and behaviors suited to their environment and social structure. Conservation of penguins and their habitats is crucial to ensuring the survival of these iconic and ecologically important species. Penguins face various threats, including climate change, habitat loss, overfishing, pollution, and human disturbances. Conservation efforts aim to protect penguin populations, their breeding sites, and the ecosystems they depend on. Conducting scientific research and long-term monitoring of penguin populations provide crucial data to understand population trends, identify threats, and guide conservation strategies. Restoration projects may focus on restoring or improving nesting sites, removing invasive species that disrupt penguin habitats, and planting native vegetation to enhance suitable environments. As Earth's climate changes rapidly, penguins stand on the front lines as environmental sentinels. Their behavior and population trends offer valuable insights into the health of our planet's delicate ecosystems. Driven by a shared concern for these enchanting creatures, conservationists worldwide have rallied to safeguard penguin populations. From creating protected marine areas to monitoring breeding sites, human efforts are making a significant impact. For those who dream of a personal encounter with these adorable birds, penguin tourism offers an incredible opportunity. Visitors can witness these charming creatures in their natural habitat, forging unforgettable memories. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and hit that follow button so you can see more content like this in the future. And of course, 
Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you never miss an upload. Let me know what kind of videos you'd like to see from me in the future. Your feedback helps me create content that you'll love.